Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I've had a couple of questions recently about how I store my stamps and dies. So let's not waste any time and let's go have a look. All right, so the way I store my stamps and dies that have like a stamp and then a matching die set like all my lawn form ones, I store them in these stamp and die storage pockets. These are the large ones. These are from Avery L. And they're five and a half by seven and three eighths. Yeah, I know that's American, but that's what's on the sheet. Um, packs, and I get them in a pack of 50. Um, and I get them from Scrap Dragon, but I do know they are available in other places. So that's 18 and a half by 14.2 ish. Um, and then all I do is I use some white cardboard as a bit of a backer. So I sort of thought I'd show you through the process and then show you where I put them and then where I keep just my dies and stamps that don't come in packets. So I have got a new set of Lawn Fawn here. This is the Christmas Dreams one. I just really wanted the Christmas tree. So a lot of people I know do store um, their stamps in the pockets. I, not that I didn't want to, it would have been fine to do that. I just decided I needed an easy, easier, a different way. And to be honest, I've been copying Jennifer Maguire. So <laughs> it's a new addiction. So all I need to do this is a piece of white cardboard. I do have a lot of white cardboard. This is just basic stuff that I get from Officeworks. I think I get like a hundred pack for 10 bucks or something like that, but I've always got plain white cardboard hanging around. And then I cut my little sheet here. So I'm doing this for you guys. So I'd usually cut this a slightly different way, I think. So actually I'll show you the proper way. So it's, I cut them into two parts of 13.4. So then I get two to a cut, two to a piece of cardboard. Um, and then there's a there's still a little bit of wastage, but not as much. So then I grab in my trimmer. Most of the time, honestly, I do this without measuring because I just do it based on the um on the trimmer board here, sort of line it up on that one right at the end there, which is pretty close. Actually, I'll do it that, that way. And then it's 18.3, which I actually have marked. I've got this little mark here for myself so that I know exactly where I'm going. So 18 point, it's somewhere between 18.3 and 18.4. I'm not particularly precise with it because it just needs to be a piece of cardboard that's about the right size. And this will be about the right size. If you have one that's slightly too small, it's not going to hurt it. So you've got your two pieces of cardboard, you then put that goes in there and then your stamps go on top. This is where my letter, ma uh, letter maker, label maker has been getting so much work. If you saw my favorites from October, you'll know this one made the cut because I just have, when you see my drawer in a minute, you'll, you'll see. Uh, so for the title, so I do um, the brand and then the actual name of the set. So the brand is in large and it's in all in capitals. So you just press print. Delete that, format size, and then down a size, so down to medium, and that's when I put the title of the stamp set, Whoop. and I do that in normal, sort of capitalised and then uncapitalised. Christmas dreams, yes, print. Easy. All right, so once that's done, I do trim these just a little bit because I'm a crazy person and I like it to be just a little bit more tidy. So I just cut a little bit from each of those sides and the same thing on this one. I just find that my label maker leaves a little bit too much room for me, but it would be fine. The other, like, it would be absolutely fine just putting them down the way they came out. So I store mine horizontally and that's just because they sit in my Alex drawers. When we move to the new house, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put them, I think I like them horizontal, so I think I'm going to leave them that way, um, but I might move to vertical, haven't decided. So once I've got the backing off that, I just stick the title on the top and then this one underneath it. Usually I use tweezers to get these off, but I'm trying to go faster, which is actually working for a change. That doesn't usually work. So it's just stacked and just laid down as straight as I can do it. If it's not perfectly straight, that's okay. Hold that over. 
that goes in there so I can always see exactly what I'm getting and it just folds in and she's ready to go all right so then we're going to roll around here so my stamps and dies live in the third drawer of my Alex on my right hand side like I said that may change when we move to the new house but at least for now you can see how they're all sort of stacked in there horizontally I do have if you look right at the back there there's actually a black box and what that's doing is just using as a placeholder for me because I don't actually have enough to keep the whole drawer stacked up but I do randomly kind of push these down because they are about this much too um, too big for the drawer which is just disappointing so I keep these in alphabetical order based on their brand so lawn fawn because I have so much of it um, and because I'm kind of on a lawn fawn kick right now um, lives at the front so and then I just put them in alphabetically so Christmas dreams is going to go in there so you can see I've got them all through there anything that's got its own die set like lives behind it and I just keep these on a magnetic sheet you guys have seen those from me before um, I just cut it up to a certain size like so it fits in or fits all the little dies on there and that's fine don't panic too much about it being exactly the right size and I don't waste any by having like the whole all through here if I'm just got a strip of it um, I do have a couple of uh, just stamps in here so I've got the critter chatter just the stamp set anything lawn fawn does live in here uh, I also have my Simon Says Stamp, a couple of Impression Obsessions, Ink Road, Scrap Dragon, Paper Rose and Avery L live in there as well. I also have some Kayser Craft um, and some other random ones that are in there. Anything that's a die is in there and it stays in there and it stays on a magnetic sheet because then I don't have to worry about losing any of the little bits. They're all stored and they're all safe. So up above that, I have where I'm keeping just my stamp sets. These are anything that doesn't have a die that matches. Um, I do have a bunch more and I'm in the process of sort of reorganizing how I want to do just my stamps because I don't want them in the drawer as well. So I feel like they sort of, I won't go looking for them. I don't know why I'm sort of working on it a little bit more. Uh, but for now, they live in this Kmart one that just has a bunch of other crafty stuff in there. Uh, and that seems to be working reasonably well for now, but I will organize that again when we move. So the only other kinds of stamps that I have are my Planners Anonymous stamps. And I get asked this question a lot, um, is how do I store my Planners Anonymous stamps? I prefer to keep them in with my kits, which I keep over on my left-hand side in little magazine boxes in filing uh, pockets. And that way everything from the kit is all kept together. What I have done though, because I did try I did try to put them all in one of these little brag books and I'll put a picture up because it it so didn't work. I got about halfway through it and it just was so fat it wouldn't fit any more in it. Uh, so what I've done is I've put them all back in their little pockets and instead what I've made myself is a little catalogue. So I've cut out my pieces of cardboard. This is just that same plain white cardboard cut to 10.9 by 14.3 which fits perfectly in these little pockets. Uh, this album I got from, I think I got it out of one of my Planet Bay boxes, but you can get them from basically anywhere. I'll link a couple down for you down below. Um, and I've just got, I just stamped out everything in the stamp set so that I could really easily come in here, have a look, see what I've got and go, right, that's going to work or that's not going to work or whatever it might be. And because I've put them in order of when I got the kits, it makes it really easy for me to go back and find them. So I'll just finish flicking them through. I did them all in black just because that way it was a little bit easier to see exactly what they were. But I actually got really excited. I forgot how cool some of the ones from the start were. So I'm really, I've got a couple of ideas for some stamp videos coming up really soon. So that's how I keep them all sorted. And then just so you can see, I'll, I'll just grab out one of the little pockets. So this is Forest Falls. It's just a, this little thing just from um, Reject Shop. I have done a video on it, which I'll link down below. The stamp set just lives in the same way it's come to me, just lives in there. Because it's not bulky, it doesn't do any damage to it. And then like I said, because I know which order they came in, I can really easily go back and flick. And a sort of an example of when I've used this was if you saw yesterday's video when I was putting those stars in, that star actually comes out of the Main Street kit and I was just sort of looking for stars. So I went looking through the catalog until I found which one I wanted 
and I went right there it is and that was how I found it so it has come in really handy already it is something I'm thinking of doing for those stamps that live over in the cupboard plus the extra ones that I do still have hiding around the place so I might do like a an other other stamps kind of catalog which might help me out and might help me get more use out of my stamps and dies so that is it for my stamp and die storage guys I hope you did enjoy this video and you found it really found it at least a little bit informative uh, if you want to know anything else leave me a comment down below and I will answer your question as best I can as soon as I can if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to be subscribed to my channel for any other updates I have had a request from Deborah to do a office tour before and after so before we move and then after we move um, so I'm working on that it's on my list so I will hopefully get that done before we move because we still don't exactly know when if you have any other video requests leave them for me down below or you can find me on my socials hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic fantastic week and I will see you again in my next video sending lots of huggles bye